All right, just going to do a quick video showing you that hell is in fact eternal. It's not annihilationism, as the Seventh Day Adventist cult teaches. And yes, it is a cult. The Seventh Day Adventist is a cult. It is not Christian. It is essentially just a Roman Catholic. They believe in a works-based salvation, keeping the law. So, it's a cult. It is not. It was started by a woman, which is already a big problem, because women are not supposed to be teachers and preachers, unless it comes to teaching the gospel to unsaved people. But not preachers in the church, obviously, but side issue. So I'm going to show you some scriptures showing that hell is in fact eternal, and it's not annihilationism as the Seventh-day Adventists teach. And that, of course, you know, hell and the lake of fire are, of course, two separate places, obviously. But uh, hell is eternal. It's, it's basically a holding chamber. Then the dead, they go up to get judged at the Great White Throne Judgment, and then they get cast into the lake of fire. But their torment is eternal. It's not some kind of annihilationism that the Seventh-day Adventists believe. So, some scriptures showing that hell is eternal. Isaiah chapter 33, verse number 14. Turn there in the King James Bibles. The sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearful, fear, fearfulness hath surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with the, with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell in with everlasting burnings? Hmm, everlasting burnings. What does that sound like? Hell, everlasting burnings. So it's everlasting burnings. It's not just temporary burnings. Isaiah chapter 66, verse number 24. And they shall go forth and look upon the carcasses of the men that have transgressed against me, for their worm shall not die, neither shall their fire be quenched, for they shall be an abhorring unto all flesh. What does this sound like? You know, the worm shall not die, neither shall the fire be quenched. Sorry, my cat is walking around me. Well, compare that over to Mark chapter 9, verses 44 to 49, where the worm dieth on, the fire is never quenched. Interesting tie-in right there. So again, hell, the fire is never quenched. It's not a temporary punishment. Daniel chapter 12, verse number 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Everlasting. You see this theme, everlasting, everlasting, everlasting. It's not a temporary punishment. Matthew chapter 25, verse number 41. An interesting verse that kind of ties into this. Matthew chapter 25 and verse number 41. Then shall he say unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye curse, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. You see, hell was not originally prepared for, for mankind. It was not God's intention that mankind go to hell. However, when Adam and Eve sinned, mankind earned wages to go to hell. Death, you know, sin, the wages of sin is death, Romans 6.23. But hell was originally prepared to punish the, the devil and his angels. And Satan will eventually be thrown into the lake of fire, obviously. But God was not originally planning on man going to hell. It was not his intention. It is a sad reality, but mankind, if you don't accept Jesus Christ as your Savior, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ to pay for your sins, you're on your way to hell. Listen, you can't work your way to heaven. You can't earn your salvation. Matthew chapter 25 and verse number 46. And these shall go away into everlasting punishment, but the life into but the but the righteous into life eternal. So you see again it's everlasting punishment. So hell is not a temporary punishment, it is everlasting. It's essentially a holding chamber for the like I said earlier, it's a holding chamber for the lost people, the wicked lost people, and then they come up at the great white throne judgment, get judged, and they're cast in the lake of fire for all of eternity, along with Satan and all of his angels. And with the Antichrist and the false prophet who were already who are basically already in there uh, at the end of the time of Jacob's trouble. And God throws them in there. But that's the reality of hell. It's everlasting. It's not temporary. It's not, oh, you just burn up and then you just, you're gone. That's it. No, that's essentially atheistic philosophy. 
You see, the Seventh Day Adventist heresy of uh, yes, it is a heresy, by the way, because if you're denying that hell is eternal and that God punishes you in a lake of fire for all of eternity, you're basically denying and questioning God's righteousness. And Isaiah chapter 5, this isn't in my notes, I thought I'd just point this out, this is not actually in my notes. Isaiah chapter 5, I think it's verse number, where's the exact verse? Uh, one second, let me just search it up. It's Isaiah chapter 5 and verse number, yeah, Isaiah chapter 5, verse number 16. It says, But the Lord of hosts shall be exalted in judgment, and God that is holy shall be sanctified in righteousness. You see, God will be exalted in his judgment, obviously. That's just how it goes. God is perfectly righteous to throw you in hell for all of eternity. And guess what? He'd be perfectly righteous to throw me in hell for all of eternity. I deserve it too. There's not a single person on earth that doesn't deserve eternal hell. And like a fire, obviously. But God, through his mercy, uh, sent Jesus Christ to pay for our sins on the cross. And all your sin is forgiven on the cross. You can read about that in Acts 13, 39, Colossians 2, 13, Titus 2, 14, and 1 John 1, 7. All your sin is forgiven. It's that simple. But if you don't accept the free gift of salvation, salvation is a free gift, obviously. God's grace is a free gift. You can see Romans chapter 5, verse 15 to 18, and Romans 3, 24 then you deserve eternal hell. That simple. And hell is an eternal punishment. If you're not going to accept Jesus Christ for your salvation, then you're going to have to pay for your own sins in hell. That's the reality of it. So, just wanted to show you guys that. Hell is eternal. It is not annihilationism. That is a heresy from the Seventh-day Adventist cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.